Hey everyone. Hey y'all. <laughs> We're back with a tiny house update. Uh, we've made some progress, but Finally. there's also been more demo yeah. too. I think we're done demoing. I'm pretty sure. I think I've got a couple little boards to cut out so I can put a light in, but I think all the demo is done. That scares me to even say that because mm -hmm. I feel like it's jinx. like jinx. Yes, jinx. exactly. So we're excited to show you the progress we've made. Yep. Um, stick around to the end and we're going to share a little bit of our fall camping plans as well. Finally. Yes. So if you're new here, we're Tim and Gina. I'm Tim. We She's Gina. We usually make videos about camping, um, overlanding, and exploring. Um, cooking. Cooking, camp cooking, things like that. Distilleries, breweries. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a few yes. of those along the way. But th those have been sidelined for a little bit. Yeah. Because we made a decision earlier this year to sell our, our bigger house, two bedroom, Three bedroom, two Three bath. Three bedroom, two bath. Standard house, uh, 1, you know. square feet, nothing, yeah. nothing huge. And downsize to a 308 square foot tiny yeah. house. 308, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we needed to do a little bit of, re of um, uh, not revision, remodeling. <laughs> we needed to do a little bit of remodeling on it. And that least, remodeling. That was the plan. Yeah, turned into a much bigger deal. Um, uh, than we expected it to be. Yeah, it turned into a tear down and gut. Pretty much. Um, so this is the second update video for how we're doing. So you can see from the clips here uh, what we did to get up to this point where we left off in the previous video. So that was where we left off with the last video. We had gotten all the concrete cut out and we were waiting for the plumbers to come back. So since then, the plumbers have been back and they've put in all new drain lines. New line into the house there. So the plumbers came last week and put all the new drain lines in. So they did the one outside. So from outside, Inside here, the main line, and then the one that we had to cut the trench all the way across the room here for the kitchen sink. So they're coming back today to run the water lines, to stub up all the water lines. So the plumbers put in the water lines in the, uh, in the floor and they plumbed everything else in the walls for the washer dryer, for the toilet, vanity, the water for the fridge. They did all those and then they scheduled an inspection for a plumbing inspection. Yeah. Yeah. So we were able to get all that done before the weekend yeah. came. <laughs> yeah, the weekend. So we also we also had um, a company come out and remove the insulation, which was kind of cool to see how they just vacuum that all out with this huge vacuum. So that led us up to a uh, Labor Day weekend. Yep, labor. So, we were planning yeah. to go camping that weekend. Yep, a little quick getaway. <laughs> but because yep. they got everything done and the inspection done before the weekend, we decided... Pour concrete. We would pour concrete. We would labor instead yep. of uh, relaxing. But it was a good weekend. Yeah, we, we got all the concrete done pretty quick.
I think we were done cleaned up by three o'clock after going back and getting more concrete from Menards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, so it, it went well with that concrete mixer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good yeah. idea getting it, Brian. <laughs> Definitely easier than mixing it in a well barrel. Yes. Honey, I'm home. Hi, babe. Oh, it looks like concrete. We didn't do too bad. Anybody that don't like that didn't help on it. <laughs> like, hats off to people who work concrete for a living, though, huh? Oh, yeah. I always knew that I wouldn't want to. I mean, that is hard work, man. Both the cutting and the mixing and pouring and carrying those bags of concrete. So, a couple steps forward. Yep, next week I'm going backwards. Uh, we're going to take the ceiling down. And yeah, the rest of the drywall on the walls. Yeah. started thinking about how they're going to match the texture of the ceiling to the few spots that we tore out. And somebody was telling you that it's like if we are going to have somebody else do it right that it's going to cost as much for them to like patch, to patch and match and stuff, yep. as just to start because yep. it's such a small space yep like it probably wouldn't be that big of a difference and it's all going to look nicer in the end yeah so we spent that next weekend removing drywall we ordered a dumpster had it delivered during the yep. week and then we spent the next weekend removing all of the remaining drywall that was in the house Okay. <coughs> yeah. I, I know Steve says uh, step two, but in demolition is step one. Step one is coffee. Or caffeinate. <laughs> so what's on the agenda for today, dear? Tear it down the drywall ceiling. I'm, I'm putting a mask on to start here. Yeah. Let's see, I may take it off if it's not bad, but... I say just stack it up there, it's raining. Spout out there? No, no water spout. Just drywall getting wet. That's why we stopped loading it in the truck. It started raining. I'm gonna sit back down in my boss lady chair. is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high 
even if the sky is falling. Yeah, so much for the, just the bathroom remodel. Yeah. <laughs> Once we had all the drywall removed off the ceiling, and I could see like the open um, ceiling rafters, that made me start to question <laughs> whether, wow, wouldn't this look really cool with it? And in the previous video, I had jokingly said, now let's put in a vaulted ceiling. But now that I could actually see the open ceiling, it made me think even a little more seriously about putting in a uh, vaulted ceiling. Bob told me to tell you no. I know. <laughs> it would uh, make it feel a lot more open. Because it would be. Yeah. We don't know what would have to be done. Like that would make your running of the wires and stuff a whole lot more difficult. It's doable, but I don't think it's. it would be what you think. Yeah. Time-wise, expense-wise, yeah. you know... We're paying for all of this out of pocket. It's like opening a whole nother can of worms. Just drop it. <laughs> Once we got all the ceiling tore down, um, our next task was to remove all the siding off the front of the house. So we could fur out where they recessed, recessed filled in the block wall where the kitchen window was and stuff. I still don't understand that. Yeah. So. so the house was a garage at one point, and there's debate about whether it was actually used as a garage. We think it was. But when they filled in the overhead garage door opening, the big, big opening, instead of using six-inch block, they eight used, inch. like, the rest of it, eight-inch block, eight like, inch the block. rest of it, they used four-inch four inch block. So there was like this indent in the house, um, and we wanted to just square that off. Yeah. And you needed to for the electric panel right. to that, put the panel. That's where the meter is going and stuff. Where you so want to put it. Square. Got a pretty good uh, crack over there. <laughs> Not yours, babe. Oh. You hardly ever show yours. So that went really quick. And easy. Turn, yeah, there's, yeah. yeah. Not much to it. No, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. And so the Unless next put day. On very well. No, no. And we, we could really see like how mice were getting up into the house just right underneath oh, yeah. the siding. Oh, there's nothing. Up into the. There's nothing sealing the bottom off. There's attic. Like, like in a wall, there's a, uh, a sill plate. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. This was just the furring strips that could go right up. Right. So the next day we came back and we started framing and in as part of the framing you're being really careful to make sure that you're sealing off that bottom. Mm -hmm. Now is uh next uh bump it, taking the window out and framing in for the window or would that be the next step? No. This out. Um, so while we had the dumpster here, we had to order, we ordered like the smallest size roll off dumpster we could get. But even with all the drywall and the siding and everything off the front, we still had plenty of room in that dumpster. So while we were at it, we decided to tear down an old shed that was rotting and falling right, apart. Yeah. Pulling the wall. Pulling the wall. thinking about it. Oh, I was going to say, watch it like tumble all the way down the hill or something. I was hoping. You're <laughs> I was hoping. 
Okay, you want me to bring the truck up here? Yeah, back the truck up here. Are we gonna just scooch? I don't know, can we? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we were working together. Stop. I need my mind. Okay. Mind scooch. Hello? Good job, us. It's all uh so yep. we came after work one day. Cut it up, tore it up, threw it out. You had fun cutting it up, but that yeah. sucker was heavy. Yep. We wanted to just get the roof in there. So, like, the sides we knew we could burn. The roof was all shingled. The roof was all shingled, and that was the heaviest part of it, oh, yeah. too. So, yeah. we got it all cutting cut it up. Cutting it up wasn't easy at all. Huh? Yep, and got it put in the dumpster. We're finally able to start putting things back together as far as new furring. There, there, had to, there was spots where I, the furring strips were moldy and rotted, like mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Right. So all of that had to come out. And obviously where the old window was there, I had to reframe around that, the furring. Mm -hmm. So like everything, as we've started to make progress and like we've removed trim in order to get more framing in there, you're finding stuff that is rotted, yeah. like under the windows and stuff that yeah. you're having to take out and replace. So yeah. it's still really slow going. Yeah. And you were able to get the bathroom framed up, the right. utility, utility room, room framed yeah. up. You know, I'm sitting here looking at this, and I'm still hung up on the vaulted ceiling thing. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe I will call somebody, a, a builder or whatever, to come and look at. Even if we could just do this part, vaulted, you know, so have this wall, like go all the way up and across, this, all of this part, leave as is, the regular ceiling, but have like just this part over the kitchen and like, beginning of the living room vaulted so like you walk in and you've got that airy like ceiling that that even would make a huge difference showing what I'm seeing I know I have a hard time letting it go like it's so, you know we've got it all tore up right now like I would hate to not like investigate the possibilities, I think, while we have it tore up. I don't know. So anyway, that's that's nothing really to do with with you, babe. Like I'll, I'll, I'm just letting you know what's going on in my head. <laughs> that uh, maybe I'll call somebody, see if they can come out this week and tell us what it would take. Where are we making progress? Kind of shit you talking. <laughs> well, look what happens when I just leave you alone for a while and don't bombard you with all of my fantastical ideas. You just get work done. Because I'm not cluttering up your brain with all this other stuff. With all this malarkey. That I'm throwing out there. It's a big transformation just having framing up for those walls. The following weekend, yeah, something like that. we picked up insulation. Picked up insulation, for the zip attic. board. Yeah, we got R30 insulation for the attic. Um, I had to order it because nobody carried R30 in 15 inch width. So I had to order it and it was a minimum of 12 bales I had to order. Mm -hmm. And I figured the attic needed 10. Right. 
So I did all kinds of calculations and, it, and just bit the bullet and bought the 12. The 12. We'll have a few, a little extra. We put that R30, tore some off of it, made it a little thinner for the front uh, of it mm -hmm. before we put the Again, to kind of deter, on. just not to have cavities. <laughs> right. You know, and plus that, that needed it because you're going to have the, the space the there where the, where the window is. That right. needed to be insulated. Yeah, we insulated that and we, it only took four sheets of zip. But that was, it was difficult. Like the two middle pieces weren't bad, but the two side pieces, end pieces, were tough to get in there. Yeah, because it, it had the... Uh the wrap around the, the end pieces from the mm -hmm. vinyl siding we left on. Since we're not to kind taking. Of seal it. Right. Keep it kind of sealed from weather. All of it off. But we did it, and it was like 88 degrees that day. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't in the sun directly. It was on the yeah. north side of the house. We were still both sweating yep. up a storm, though. So we were proud of ourselves yep. when we got that done. That was it for the day. Next day or next weekend, we came back, took out the old window, and that was where we kind of finished off, like, the current cross. You know, that's kind of where we're at right now. So we had one more thing, though, Yep. related to our uh, downsizing and getting prepared to move that we knew would happen, but we no. weren't, and like, we weren't prepared. It happened real quick. It happened real quick. Right, yeah. exactly. So we have this turtle that came home with our <laughs> son from college. He was a resident assistant in college and they were doing room inspections and a couple girls had this little, he was only like this big red-eared slider um, in their room that they were keeping and they had to confiscate it. I don't know where it. the heck they got it from. I'm, yeah, I don't know if they got it from remember. a pet store or what. But, you know, once you've had them, you can't release them into the wild. And um, so he brought it home um, from school with him with this little aquarium that he had gotten for it. So Ducky has lived with us for the last 12 years and now is a red-eared slider yeah. about this big with a, a whole turtle Hunt. habitat yeah. that you've built what, for 100, him. 100 Hundred gallon tank or something. Seventy five hundred gallon tank, something. It's got a turtle condo on top, a rolling cabinet below him. That I made. Yeah. yeah. And we had like we've been over the past six months or so kind of putting feelers out about trying to find somebody to take him. Well we tried one time and we were just weren't what would you try that on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah and had, and had some people yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, but I that didn't crickets. really yeah. know. Yeah, the, and they didn't really. The people that were responding had never had a turtle before, yeah. and you know, I was worried about him being taken care of properly and everything. Yeah, I wouldn't want him to go into a turtle fighting ring. You know? Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> turtle fighting ring. Yeah. So my sister just happened to uh, run into somebody who um, has uh, has turtles, has an turtles. outdoor turtles plural, has an outdoor turtle habitat for them and an indoor turtle habitat, and was happy to get the whole setup that we had and everything. And um, they came and they picked Ducky up. So. Like, my sister connected us on a Friday, and they came and got him on Sunday. Yeah. So it all happened just super quick. Um, so it was kind of a little bit of a shock, but we're so yeah. happy that you, he went somewhere. And he's doing good. Updates we got. Yeah, he's, she's given us updates. He's enjoying it. Yep. Um, is loving the new outdoor habitat um, and being able to be out there and... When it gets a little bit colder, they'll Probably bring him Probably taking over the whole thing, knowing him. Yep. So that's kind of where we're at with the um, with the tiny house and our progress towards moving. Um, we figure we will probably put the house up for sale in the spring. Um, we really thought when we started that we would be selling the house probably have the house sold yeah, already and be moving seriously on the move. market and yeah yeah you know but now we recognize that with the amount of demo we've had to do 
um, and doing a lot of the work ourselves. New, new shower, yeah, right. <laughs> just on the weekends, yeah, that it's probably going to be, that wasn't very realistic, yeah. so it's going to be more like spring. But, so next weekend, we are attending Overland the Red. Yeah. Overland the Red is the one in our previous, our video from last year where we said we wrecked the trailer and then crashed the Overland the Red. Mm -hmm. That's the one. We decided so we'd go to it. We'd actually uh, buy tickets. Pro properly go to it. <laughs> properly attend it. Leave, leave the camper in the campground, not take it on the trails. Yep, and do some exploring there that we didn't really get to do because, you know, everything that happened, how long it yeah. took us on that trail. Um, but it's in the Red River Gorge area of Kentucky, so beautiful area. Um, I'm not sure if there are still tickets available for the actual event, the, the whole weekend and camping and everything. Um, but I know they do have, like, day passes yeah. that you can get. Um, and it's really just exploring, um, you know, like, groups get together and explore the trails. Yeah, there's some classes, too, wasn't there? Yeah, Normally. there was some classes and um, some volunteer opportunities. Um, and then just, just exploring the scenic, like, even if you're not somebody who likes to do off-road trails and stuff, um, the whole area, there's all oh, yeah. sorts of scenic drives there, and um, um, things like natural that. Natural bridges. Yeah. Hikes and stuff. Yeah. So just a lot to do there. Um, so we're headed down there. Maybe we'll run into a few of you down there if you're in the area. Um, and then we're also going to spend a little bit of time this next week in um, Wayne, Wayne National, National Forest. Forest. In Ohio. In Ohio, yeah. So it looks like there's tons of stuff to do there. Um, we've had lots of people tell us about some of the state parks there and the hiking there um, and exploring some of the trails and things there, so the off-road trails yeah. uh, with Heck and Back. Um, so we'll have some more um, actual overlanding, camping, and exploring videos coming out in the near future. Camping! Yay, I know you're so excited yes. to be able to not think about the house for a week. I mean, we we literally, you know, again, we're not retired yet. We both work full-time jobs. You took a few days off here and there, yeah. um, but not, not too much. No, it's a couple days. But we have slow. literally spent every weekend and occasional evenings after work over here working on the house. So to take a whole week off. We're not gonna know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna relax around a fire and drink beer. Maybe some places you're not in Ohio. You're oh, it's on a burn ban right now. Right. I don't know about Kentucky. We're gonna sit around in a circle and drink beer. We're gonna just sit around in a circle. <laughs> okay, so that's where we'll at. We're at. We'll be back with some um, camping and exploring video soon. And we'll have another tiny house update for you in November. Bye, everyone. Bye.